What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here with yet another video to talk about two different transfer rumours, which is doing the rounds in the press. And, you know, these two players have also come out and spoken about it as well a tiny bit. I've got Slav with me yet again. You might have seen his videos over the last week about what kind of options we can have. A one, a centre defensive midfielder one coming tonight. How are you doing, Slav? I'm good, mate. I'm good. All good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, the first one I want to talk about is Hoiberg, the Southampton captain. So obviously yeah. we've been linked with him for a while, actually. And it's interesting mm -hmm. because he's responded to the rumours now in the press to the Danish, some Danish outlet. And he's, the quote is, it would be a lie to say I hadn't read it, talking about the Tottenham rumours. It's a big club. And I also think Christian Eriksen has po positive memories from there. So, you know, mm -hmm. he's talking, talking up the kind of rumours about the club. What do you think of him as a player? I think he's a good player. I do think he's a good player. I think he's been um, a player Southampton have sort of in a way relied on the last couple of years. They haven't had their greatest couple of years in the Premier League recently. And I think he's been one of the, sort of the, uh, the, bright, the bright lights in that Southampton team. The likes of him, Danny Ings and Nathan Redmond have sort of been the, the, positive, the positive players in that group. Um, I think he would be a good player as well, a good signing. Um, I think there would be a lot of negativity if we did sign him. However, I do think he would be a good signing. Why would you um, say there would be negativity? Because I don't think he's the kind of signing you want to make if you're pushing for trophies and you're pushing for a, for a title challenge. He's not someone that stands out as somebody who's going to take you to new heights and to new levels. But he is a, good, a really good player. He's, a, he's in the Denmark squad. Um, like you said, he's the captain of Southampton. Uh, he's got a lot of... Uh, good traits. He works hard. He's strong. Very comfortable on the ball. And of course, he came through at Bayern Munich. Mm. Um, and so Bayern Munich rate, uh, rated him very highly. Uh, he's still young as well. He's got a lot of potential to fill. So he could improve a lot. And I think he would be a really good signing uh, if we were to bring him in. A couple of stats as well, which backs up your claims, really. He's had 28 appearances this year in the Premier League, averaging 2.4 tackles a game, 1.7 clearances a game, 1.5 interceptions a game. And here's an interesting one of 1.5 shots a game as well. So it looks yeah. like he tries to find the net. He, um, he's a box, I think he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. And I know we, need, in de we desperately need a defensive midfielder. But I think Hoybier, not only could he be a good squad player, I think he could be a good starting player. So I don't think he would be the right man to fill that defensive midfield position. But I think in central midfield, he could be a great option to have as a box-to-box -box midfielder, someone to help out the defence and help out going forward as well. So I wouldn't be disappointed if we signed him. And if we were to sign him, what kind of fee do you reckon it would come on? How well, much do you reckon we'd sign him for? In my opinion, I'm guessing they're, they're going to ask for upwards of 30, 40 million, aren't they? Um, and and you think that'd be worth it? It's a difficult one. It could be worth it. It could be worth it. He is a good player. Um, also, the, the with the COVID nineteen situation, I don't know what's going to happen with the price, with the yeah. price tags on players, whether it will increase or decrease. Got no idea. Um, I think that for a captain to buy a club captain and an international, um, a player who's a very highly rated international, it would cost a lot of money. It wouldn't be cheap. And to be honest, I'd sort of focus the money on somewhere that we need a bit more or someone a little bit more. Um, suited to a more defensive midfield position. However, if we could get him on the cheap, I wouldn't complain or, uh, at all if we got Hoybier. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, to you be were, honest, were we I, linked with him in January? Yeah, exactly. We were linked with him and it came out from, I think it was Fabrizio Romano said we tried with a really, really late bid in the transfer window for him. Um, and he yeah. was interested and wanted to come, but it just didn't happen for whatever reason. Um, well, so probably because he didn't want to leave Southampton during a relegation battle. Yeah, maybe. Um, but look, it's one that, that we're definitely keeping an eye on. And moving yeah. on to the next one, which is one that hasn't gone away for years and years, even, even if uh, he did kind of snub us at some stage, and that goes by Willian. And he's confirmed live on his Instagram that he would have no problem joining a rival and that he misses playing for Jose Mourinho. If that's not putting yourself in the shop window to Tottenham Hotspur, I don't know what is. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I'm not, I don't particularly want him, to be honest. No, neither. He's th I mean, regardless of who he plays for and what happened, he's 31. He's not consistent enough. I know he scored against us, but he doesn't do it enough and doesn't do it for me. And people, I've heard people say squad depth and this and that. Yeah, squad depth. But he's, I don't want Willian. Not for me. Um, also, it's not like he's come out and said, I really want to play for Tottenham. He wants to play for Mourinho. 
And Look, he can't. Is... He can't come out and say that as a Chelsea player, surely. No, 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 no. I don't expect him to. But you want players that want to come and play for Tottenham. You don't want players that want to come and just play because because of the manager. Because just because solely Jose Mourinho is your manager and you used to play under him, I want to sign players that not only want to play under Jose and improve, but also want to come and represent Tottenham and be part of, uh, of this great club. So exactly. And anyway, William, you had your chance to join Tottenham, and you must exactly, have mate. back then. Exactly. Anyway, I'll, I'll bring him into the training ground, get him to sign that contract, and just as he's about to sign it, just rip it up in front of his face. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's the way we should deal with it. Revenge, revenge. Exactly, revenge will be sweet. Um, but anyway, yeah, just a, just it was just a quick video today. So those are the two kind of rumours. They've both come out and spoken about it. Watch out later because Slav's sent, uh, defensive midfielder video is going to come out later this evening. We're improving the defensive midfielders, boys. Exactly. Oh, let's hope so. Okay. Anyway, let's hope so. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Keep an eye out for that later on. Um, and let us know in the comment section below who, if your opinions on Pierre Emil Hoybier and Willian. Um, ben, anything you want to add on those two players? Um, to be honest, not really. I think Willian is a no go for me. Hoiberg, I would take. I would definitely take him. I think he's a good player. Um, but apart would you from put that, number one target in midfield. I think number one target needs to be a proper destroyer in midfield. Uh, but the Hoiberg one reminds me a bit of the Palacios deal when we had Redknapp because Palacios as well wasn't a player where, where it kind of sparked everyone with, with such joy. But as soon as he joined, he, he definitely showed his worth to the team and, and we, mm. we definitely, um, you know, reap the benefits of it. So yeah, absolutely. Think, you, you watch, I don't know if you ever watch Santa, but you watch, when you do watch him and you watch Hoiberg, he's got a lot of passion on the pitch as well. Yeah. Um, Really cares, really want. He's, he really wants to win. Um, and like I said, if you come through at Bayern Munich, you've got to have some kind of ability. So. Hoiberg or Winks? The stats will tell you, uh, Hoiberg. I love Winksy, and he's come through the academy and, and whatnot. But when it comes down to it, who's gonna, who's gonna, who's the better footballer? Yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to go with Hoiberg, in my opinion. All right, so let me know in the comment section below who do you think's better, Hoybier or Winks? Do you want us to sign him? I think he'll be a good signing. I think Slav yeah. thinks he'll be a good signing too. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much, Slav, for coming to join me You're again. Welcome, mate. As like, long as Hoybier doesn't do pirouettes in the field, I don't mind. <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Yeah.